Today I thought I'd do a video on aligning the arm perpendicular to the fence and the blade perpendicular to the table. On the uh, DeWalt uh, 790 radial arm saw. You're going to need just a few things. Uh, two Allen wrenches, uh, one medium and one large I guess, and the large one goes in the center and the median one does this Allen bolt and this Allen bolt. It may not be necessary to loosen the center one, but it probably will be if the saw has been sitting for a while. So you loosen that one, loosen these two, in order to make your, your vertical adjustments on the blade. I should have had this off already, the uh, guard. Had to make the take the guard off in order to do uh, the the. Uh, you must take the guard off in order to do the uh, adjustments on the blade. Well, on the arm too makes it a lot easier. So, and you're going to need a framing square, all right, and a large flat screwdriver for these adjustments uh, screws back here. There are two, one on the front, one on the back. If you, you, you just loosen one a little tiny bit and adjust and tighten the other one just a little tiny bit. So if the arm needed to swing that way to the right, you would loosen the front screw just a little bit Am I getting this right? Yes, you'd loosen the front screw just a little bit and tighten the back screw by the same amount. After, of course, after the first thing you have to do is 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 lock this into position and leave this on locked because you can't the arm it, it won't move if you don't leave it on locked. So this is locked into position. You you check it here with it locked with your square. Let me see if we can see everything that I'm doing here. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll get this square before you uh, uh, try to put the ver blade vertical. So the idea here is, is that you, you move the saw along the square. Uh, I haven't cut through this uh, fence yet and I'm not going to. Now move it out. Okay, make sure at this point the square is touching the blade. Well, I use a plate, and it's tight against the fence. Roll it out, and uh, you probably need, excuse my reach, probably need a flashlight to see the crack. I have a little bit of a crack between the blade and the square, which means that the arm needs to swing this way. Now, in order to accomplish that, I'm going to have to loosen the back screw just a little bit, which means I'm going to have to spin this arm around because I can't get the screwdriver in there. Spin the arm around a little bit, a little bit farther. I could use a shorter screwdriver, couldn't I? Now, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Boy, I loosened the. Oh! I'm sorry. Uh, you need one more Allen wrench. Dang it. I thought I was all set up to do this. No wonder I can't move them. Maybe I got lucky. I got lucky. The first Allen wrench I, I picked up was the one. Now those Allen wrench, those Allen bolts, again, are steel bolts uh, with brass tips and those brass tips dig into the threads and hold these things in their position. So now that should turn uh, a little bit to the left. Come on. Get the screwdriver in. Uh, they didn't put it in the handiest position here. There we go. Now you, you saw that. Now you saw the handle fall when I, when I loosened that up because I removed the tension. Now I'm going to draw that away about a sixteenth of a turn and I'm going to tighten this one. All right. 
now that put that this this hand back under tension. Swing it back around where it lines up with the with the cog down here. Shove it in good and tight. Lock this and check again for square. Push the square up against the blade. Make sure it's tight to the fence. Slide it out. Uh, hey. Wait a minute, what's the matter here? Uh, am I thinking backwards? I'm worse than I was. Um, so, uh, my thinking must be backwards. Well, I guess my thinking is backwards. I'll, I'll try it the other way. Uh, it should move around. Uh, let's loosen this one. Oh, did I loosen that? Did, didn't I? Yeah. Let's loosen this one. Okay. There's about a oh about a eighth turn. And we'll tighten this one. Now we'll swing the arm back around. Tighten it. Square on it. Move the square to the back to the fence. Okay, I'm on the right track. It'll take just a little bit more tweaking, but you get the idea. Yeah, I'm not gonna do every little tiny adjustment. It might take one or two more to get that where it belongs. And then retighten uh, these Allen screws to hold your adjustment where you finally got it. All right. They don't have to be overly tight, but they have to be it to be snug, you don't want to break them in the hole. <coughs> now the next adjustment uh, will be to adjust the blade perpendicular to the uh, table. Now this, this, is, this is where you'll find that it's very important that your table be, be square because what if you adjusted it to this side but there was a hump in your table well, it'd be square to this side, but it wouldn't be square to the other side. Uh, and so you couldn't possibly cut a piece of board square. That's why this table needs to be straight uh, and flat. It can't, be, it can't have a hump in it. So this is, this is accomplished. Uh, this adjustment, very simply, uh, you loosen these bolts right here, these Allens. Like uh, loosen them and then tighten it up just a little bit, but not 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 at all tight. Okay, uh, and then loosen. Just pull it down a little bit. Loosen this one in the center. Ah, it's tight. Okay, and you can you can leave it a little bit loose. All right. Open this up. And then you can start tapping the saw around. Uh, it shouldn't take too long uh, to get that tapped around to where there is no discernible crack uh, between the blade and the square from the back side. And I have no discernible crack. So at this point, Lock this, tighten this one, tighten the other one, check it again, okay, if you're still good, tighten the center one, and your saw is now square. Uh, this went fairly easy, uh, it might take uh, a couple more loosenings and tightenings and tappings and you know tap here tap there until you get it. Uh, now th this is what I call this is what I call the static adjustment. Uh, you're working with a machine that's not actually cutting wood. Uh, this will get you very close but as you know I'm a fan of uh, the final adjustment being done what I would call a uh, dynamic adjustment uh, cut wood 
and check the results. But that, that's a pretty simple uh, way to get you 99% uh, there or 98% there. Uh, takes 15, 20 minutes uh, to adjust the arm perpendicular to the fence and the blade perpendicular to the table. The next uh, video will be on uh, setting the uh, heel of the blade in the vertical position. And we'll do that in a day or two.